Good morning. Finish us some fried chicken and eggplant. Here's a view of the big house from another angle. Looked pretty cool in the early morning mist. Good morning. It is, I think, day 17. I've got too much luggage. But we are about to get back in the boat, go two hours upriver to the airstrip, then hopefully get on a 12-seater Cessna and go to Samarinda and then figure out our flights from there. Ready to go, baby. Broke the heart a little bit to see this. Progress is arriving. This was fun though. This is the school bus picking up all the kids to go to school. Bee Sting's still not happy. I did way too much staring at the map, checking our progress, but these were so good. Fried bananas. I've had the sign of congestion, hoping it wasn't gonna get into an infection, but that just came out of my nose. Here we go, time to battle it. We're almost there, you gotta believe. We made it just on time. Okay, fine. Got the ticket. I've learned over the years, it's not real until the plane arrives, and here's the plane, let's go. We're on the move, baby. Crowds are cheering us. No, just kidding. They're meeting people that just got off the plane. But uh, bad news is, sounds like Laos is off. Good news is, view's incredible. Sounds like this flight should be really cool. Now I've got a week in Indonesia, I guess, to figure out where I want to fish. I think I'm gonna go after GT, try to find some. Oh-ho! Rob's getting on board. Locked in the door. I'm officially part of the flight crew. County. <laughs> this is the river we traveled up. Part of why the journey was stressful is because the water was up super high, so we were going much slower than we would have normally. We got up in the clouds and it kicked off the coolest plane ride I've ever been a part of. For as far as we could see, it was all primary rainforest covering the mountains. And then, civilization. Lots of logging roads and palm plantations, and then barges carrying coal down river to be shipped internationally. All right, so we're at an airport somewhere outside of San Marino. We're not sure if it's the right one to get us to Jakarta, but we shall find out, hopefully. How are you feeling, Reptile? Hopeful. Hopeful. Luckily, I was completely wrong. This was the correct airport, even though it didn't say the name we were hoping to see. Our first choice flight was sold out. We thought about going business class, then decided to check with CityLink. We had to get cash. We're sweating buckets, but we're saving 200 bucks, and we should be able to get to Jakarta tonight. Look at that. Mm, make it rain, baby. Uh. We got on a flight. Oh, I almost just ate it. I only got hit with a little bit of bug baggage overages, and I do it a little sneaky and put my wet wading boots just in my hand, because that's at least three or four kilos, which ain't cheap. But yeah, hopefully in Jakarta tonight, and then I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna go in the salt. Should be fun. Holy Toledo, we haven't been in air conditioning in two weeks, and I'm freezing right now. This is terrifying. Catch that, I think it's been 18 or 19 days, so our AC tolerance is non-existent. We are just built to sweat in the jungle right now. All right, step one of the saltwater plan begins, and that is trying to get my flight out of Asia moved from Singapore to Jakarta just to open up another day for fishing. Hopefully they can do it. They bumped me two days earlier last month here, so I have full confidence in their capabilities. Art of the deal. My break-even number was about 200 bucks because that's what it costs to do a one-way flight from Jakarta to Singapore. I'm a big baby, so I just paid $390 to change my flight to Jakarta because I don't feel like flying to Singapore and then flying to Istanbul. And I want to maximize my fishing time. So did not stick to my principles at all. Not even close. 